Now that people are migrating to Live 9, there's a lot of questions and work to be had in moving all of your presets from Live 8 to Live 9. I've spent a lot of time and energy in organizing my custom presets in Live 8. Now in the Live 9 browser and how the library works, it is a lot different. In this video, I'm going to go over the different ways you can move your library over and the most efficient way to organize your devices and presets. First, let's look at the browser in Live 9. It organizes your presets in a whole new way. You now see different categories, such as your audio effects, your instruments, drum rack, and so on. Now before, I could drag in an effect, change the settings, and then hit the Save button to add it to the library. You will see now that when I hit the Save button, it does not put it under the audio effect devices, but instead you'll see that it puts it in the user library under the device. The idea behind this is that you'll always have the Ableton presets, and then a whole other filing system for your own. This completely changes how you will organize in Live 9 and migrate your files. So let's start with something easy and move over our effect presets that we have in Live 8. There are two ways I can do this. The first would be to navigate to Live 8 library in the browser. Then I can flip through here and pick an effect. I can then click and drag it to the user library. This is great, but you have to do this a lot for all your different presets. I've already created subfolders and ways of organizing this huge library, and it's a waste of time for me to do it this way. The fastest way for me to do this is by going into the library folder in Ableton. In my case, this is this drive F, live library, presets, slash audio effect. And we will look at the audio effect rack folder. I can then copy this and move it to wherever I have set the user library, which in this case is disk drive F, user library, slash presets, slash audio effect. Then I give it a second to move those over, and it will show up in Live 9 after a moment, and then there they all are. Now this is a lot faster if you have a lot of audio effects to move. Now the next step would be to move my instruments. If I do this the same way and just copy and paste the instrument from Live 8 to Live 9, then there's a problem. These instruments will not move the samples associated with it. So if you delete your Live 8 library, then you lose the instrument. There are two ways around this. First, you can navigate to the instrument in Live 8 library and drag it into your set and save it to your user library. As you can tell, this will take a while. The other way, you can create a single set in Live 8 with all your instruments, then load it into Live 9 and save them one at a time into your user library. Again, this also takes a while. Because you have to move your samples with your instrument, this is the best way. It's time consuming, but after taking some time to do this, you'll have your library completely set. And with these tips and knowledge on how to migrate your live library, you should be able to get your tools organized and ready to create in Live 9. Visit subaqueousmusic.com to learn more about private lessons that I offer, as well as a gigantic library of free resources, videos, sample packs, instruments, and more.